So this was the base I started with, and I just started with a, a real simple sketch in the uh, iPad Pro with Procreate. Um, I, I kind of wanted an idea of how I was developing uh, my scene before I started. And these sketches, they never have to be perfect. You know, they're just kind of, you know, start putting things down and, and kind of laying down the idea. Um, and I, I changed it a little bit after I did this. So I just started really simply modeling some, some base objects. Um, I started with a base box here and I created a wall and then I started developing that a little bit more. Um, I don't worry too much about geometry when I'm doing this. So end guns and things like that kind of go by the wayside. All I cared about was a good kind of base start for this uh, particular project. So I essentially just kind of uh, mocked up the walls here and extrude those upward. And as I as I do this type of thing, it's just simply developing kind of that workflow, that idea. So I just kind of took the form out of this. Um, I wanted to keep it simple. I was originally thinking about doing a upper floor and then when I got into 3D I realized that the upper floor just really wouldn't look very well um, especially since I wanted to demonstrate the kitchen and that changed my idea um, and it's just a visual aspect that I wanted to change um, I just really quickly pulled up and put in some doorways here um, the doorways were very simple very easy to do um, I just deleted the back sides and then bridged the uh, areas. So after I made these doors here, um, I simply went in and uh, started to cap the areas here, um, actually bridge. Uh, then what I did was essentially just started working on a little bit more of the form. Um, in this case, what I did was I took the base floor and I extruded it downward. And with the extrude of, the, of it downward, I basically created a basement. And I used some of the base tools like uh, steps and things like that to put in and kind of develop the idea. Of so one of the things that I've done in the past is I, I did a bar scene uh, illustration and to just save time on the perspective, I simply grabbed a, uh, I grabbed the casks uh, from an old, the old project that I did, and here I'm kind of hunting the project. Uh, it pays to kind of organize your files a little bit better. And so I just grabbed the casks that I was using and things like that and I imported those in right off the bat. Um, and then that really saved me a ton of time. As you can see, um, I had I had bar uh, stools and I had uh, doors and I had a number of different things in there that really kind of helped me uh, develop that. And learning how to reuse your assets, I think is a huge aspect of 3D. Um, you know, it, it's really hard for 2D work to be reused a lot of times because of the simple fact that uh, we are doing this these types of things over and over and over. Uh, but with with 3D work, um, learning how to build kits and and things like that, which I don't do a lot of 3D work. I I kind of fallen out of it just because I like working 2D a lot more. Um, the, but the aspect of building kits, building things that you can reuse over and over and over, um, really does work. And so while you know it's simple, it's a simple aspect of you know you taking the time to kind of develop little bits and pieces, especially for organic, not organic modeling, um, for like modeling from mechs, modeling of you know different things like that that really kind of sells your your whole aspect, your whole piece, and makes things a little bit easier. 
Um, here I'm just extruding a wall real quick. It's it's you know something simple, something easy, and um, those are those are key points in in creating any 3D. Um, you know why model a human over and over and over if you can simply uh, grab uh, a stock body and start modifying that. And I think that is something that uh, 3D really, really kind of shines with. So once I've got these uh, pieces in here, I'm just going to grab the chair, and um, the middle chair I didn't really need. And I'm just going to kind of grab these and kind of place them and clone them in there. It's, it's a simple process with uh, 3D Studio Max. And you know, just moving this stuff left and right, back and forward, and things like that, is going to kind of uh, really push down the the aspect of what I'm I'm trying to go towards. Now, I you noticed I rotated the the chairs and the tables, and I you know this is an old style bar, and I, I never thought like the organized restaurant type of thing is kind of what. I was going for so you know just rotating the chairs rotating the um, tables made it look a little bit more organic and I think that's one of the biggest issues we we fail in when we do th this type of thing is we always have you know this uh, everything's perfect everything's too organized and I, I think that is something that we as as um, artists kind of never really think about too much because of the simple fact that uh, it tends to they tend to basically create um, we, we try and create our own structure and things like that so um, those are just pieces that we are developing and, and um, working with So putting the, the tables and chairs in there, um, you know, was was a pretty pretty simple aspect, and I made some bookshelves and things like that in the corners that really kind of helped out um, and fill the kitchen up, and that's kind of the next process of what I was going to work on here. So you know, building up the chimney, building up the shelves, things like that. Um, they're really simple shapes, and I was going to add texture when I draw. Um, things like that and by doing that by, by putting these pieces in here I have better kind of structure of what uh, the 3d is going to look like now the or the the 2d actually is going to look like now one of the things that I was doing here is I kind of built just you know different shelves and I was looking at like medieval shelves and references and things like that and most of them had kind of the kitchen right in the you know they had the fireplace and the kitchen that that is their kitchen uh, type of thing um, I really didn't put like a bakery or anything like that in here um, something to make like an oven because a lot of these medieval style places didn't have it um, they went to a baker and got all their bread and that's why as I painted this and, and worked on that aspect I found that 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 was you know the reference that I was looking at um, you know putting in some stairs it's really simple especially since I'm probably not going to see much of them um, and so I really kind of fleshed out the idea of the bar itself now that I'm getting ready to render um, one of the things that I did was I just put an ink and tune shader now uh, when I did this the ink and tune shader was really thick starting off because of the, the scale of my building and so I needed to go in and do little fixes here and there um, just kind of move some of these barrels a little bit more uh, just different casks and things like that and started developing that idea um, you know these are little things little pieces that you know I kind of randomized some of the stuff a little bit more um, in order to create it. Now here's my render and I started off with the ink and tune shader and I just started drawing you know basic line work, basic ideas and things like that to kind of get a better idea. Now 
again with procreate procreate works great i love the straight line features you know where you you drag and hold down and um i think that works really well here i cloned in you know i did one a couple barrels and i cloned them in and i think that worked out very well too uh, but the problem with the iPad and the iPad Pencil is, you know, there's no resistance on uh, when you're drawing. There's no resistance at all. And so you feel like you're you're really struggling with more of that scribble pattern than anything else. Um, here I simply uh, warped some uh, floorboards in there, and I, then I went through and kind of cleaned that up. Uh, you know, added in some texture in the chimney. I went through and added in specific little pieces like uh, working with, um, you know, floorboards, working with uh, objects in there, you know, just kind of going through. And I spent uh, more time going over my existing line work. Um, and the existing line work was fine, uh, but it got a little pixelated because of the translation into the Procreate drawing program. So as I continued to to do this, um, I did a lot of research actually on like medieval things like this. And so like you know they had buckets of eggs lying around for for different purposes. And I created a wine rack um, so that they you know uh, basically go get a bottle of wine in kind of that cellar area. Uh, the the biggest issue I had is I felt like the scale of the or, or the bar itself just didn't feel like a bar like it you know it had bottles it had things like that but it just felt too big um, like it had and I just felt like I needed a waitress in there and, and, and people would have made the bar feel much more lively and I kind of I kind of pushed back on that because I wanted to focus more on the environment itself. So a lot of this is little bits of detail. You know, I went through, added added stuff on the shelves, added meat, added um, hanging birds and things like that. That really gave me that sense of, you know, more of the kitchen was, was in there. And I tended to skip over on a, on a couple of different things, you know, I, I, I would work on the kitchen a little bit and then I'd research something and I would jump into, um, I would jump into the, you know, bar room itself and then I would go back and forth. And so a lot of it was, you know, just individual layers, like here I'm painting in stones and doing that sort of thing. And I think that really kind of helped me out. Um, so I didn't get too over-focused on one thing. And, you know, working, when, when I zoom up in some of this stuff, now this is supposedly 11 by 17, and when I would zoom into this, like I would get this pixelated look. Um, and so now here I've got my baselines as I'm, I'm drawing, and I'm kind of removing that background. And I'm starting to really push in and really develop the sense of um, uh, line work. So I'm putting in more of the stones, I'm putting in, you know, like shields and, and, and some, some armor and things like that in there to kind of personalize the bar a little bit more. So, you know, going through this was kind of a little process of me just going through and kind of, you know, populating the bar with bottles and, and things like that. Um, I kind of kept it, it uh, a little bit scattered, like pretty much just kind of the middle of the bar. And then what I did was I went through and really sat down and kind of developed the idea of, you know, thicker lines and thicker visualization. Um, so things popped out a little bit more. So the bar room stood out, you know, separately and things like that. So I went in and added some building structures and, and um, kind of developed that. Uh, one of my problems, though, was I wanted to put a little bit more pillars and things like that but the problem was I didn't anticipate the scale and that kind of led into its own kind of dilemma uh, the scale like the the doorway scale didn't match the the rest of the building so what I should have done is probably like masked it out and created a 
visual aspect of more of the, the kind of elements in there. Um, and I think that would help me in the 3D aspect as well. Uh, just kind of making the bar scene look a little bit more rendered and a little bit more uh, up to date. I think that would have helped out. Um, here I just added some really rough pictures, uh, really rough basic ideas in there. And um, as you can see, I didn't draw the uh, the object here in perspective. It's it's pretty much just uh, a doorway. And then I straightened it out in uh, by warping it around. And that kind of helped out as well. Um, though it's not properly done in perspective, it, just, it was one of the little things that annoyed me throughout this uh, project. And so as I developed this, you know, it just was a process of, you know, going in and finalizing little details. And here I just kind of uh, outlined some things just to make them pop a little bit more. And, um, you know, here was, uh, I needed some, some pictures for the painting, so I didn't really want to get super detailed on this. Uh, so I just basically started kind of pushing in um, these ideas, and then I transform them and put them into the uh, little little place. And I kept with kind of this dragon theme, you know, like St. George type of thing. And here I cloned out some windows, and I went through each window and, and kind of um, tried to fit it in its perspective here. Um, a little bit awkward. Um, and then I started just putting in some basic shades. I, I didn't want to get too in-depth in this because it's not something I'm going to work off of that much. Um, I went through and I, I multiplied that layer, and then I started adding in my own individual color scheme. I wanted to keep it simple, very, very, very simple, very solid tones, um, a little bit of color variation, but nothing uh, so off that it, it would uh, completely kind of uh, destroy that aspect. Now, one of the things is I really miss my uh, color selection tools like that in Photoshop. And I think Photoshop handles some of that stuff a little bit better uh, more than SketchUp does. And so just was one of those things that I, I enjoy kind of um, that Photoshop aspect a little bit more. And as I you know, as I'm painting, as I'm, I'm doing this type of thing. And so I just did some real simple color coordination or color uh, pieces here. Nothing, you know, I didn't really want to go super crazy with this. Um, each one is on an individual layer and um, that's pretty much it.